Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, Sports Talk with Jackson Travis and Jordan Hill. Yep. And we're going to be discussing Memphis basketball, Memphis Tigers. Well, as you know, they had that very good upcoming game with Jay's Wiseman. He two of them. Two of them, that's right. But that first one, he, put, he dropped 28 points. And then I'll be honest. In 22 he, minutes. He played good. He played good. Number one recruit in the country coming in. Penny Hardaway's got it going on down there. Probably the number one pick in the draft. However, you got to watch out for the mellow ball. How, yeah, however, though, the NCAA, a big week um, yep. for the NCAA and Memphis basketball. Very big, very big. As they ruled James Wiseman ineligible to play for yep. the 2019-2020 season. And the story is honest. I don't. As a Memphis basketball fan, I don't find it very. I don't find it appealing. I don't find, well, not appealing. I don't find it right. I think it's wrong because Penny Hardaway did move him down here, but that was what like tenth tenth grade maybe. Wait, like before probably before that. Wait. Twenty. It was in twenty seventeen, and James so Wiseman was a year. junior or I think a junior actually, but at the time. Penny Hardaway had no idea that he was going to be the next coach at Memphis. Yeah. So it had nothing to do with the, the NCAA or U of M. Yeah. So, and the only therefore, reason, I mean, that's not right. Yeah, and the only reason that they're not allowing this to happen right now is because Penny Hardaway is considered a booster for the University of Memphis because yes. he donated. Ten years ago. Ten years ago in 2008, he donated. Eleven. Eleven years ago. Eleven yeah. years ago. In 2008, he donated, and he's considered a booster for the but rest of the But how long... How long, once you donate, how long do, are you considered a booster? Because it says indefinitely. Yeah. So that, that has no time timetable as to when you're not a booster. Yeah, and it's not going to help him recruiting-wise either. Because if he helps any other kids that, let's say, are talented coming up, if he helps them move or anything in his past, they can't come to Memphis. Yeah. It just, I feel like it kind of, like, just... I feel, if this happened at a bigger university, like a Power 5 school, yeah. like uh, Duke, North Carolina, yeah. Kentucky, Kansas, the Blue Bloods, yeah, of college Bloods. basketball, I, it wouldn't be a big story, but since it's uh, Memphis, of course, they're crashing, crashing down hard on us. Yeah, and it sucks, though, because it's Penny's, what, second season? Yeah, it's just his second season, and he brought in the best recruiting class in the country. I know, I mean... So, it sucks because um, we get all these nice things and the, the a lot of talent coming to play for Memphis, and then this happens. It sucks for James Wiseman because he wants to play. Yeah, he wants to play, and he should be able to play. We know he's going to be good, and he would have. Yeah, he had a really good chance of bringing Memphis to the like NCAA tournament. Really good chance of that, and had a good chance of actually winning the tournament. Right, Memphis like they there's were, a lot of talent on the roster, and we're, so, they're still going to be good. I think in the end he will be able to play. I don't think they're gonna settle this out before the season is over. Yeah. And and you're gonna look. J James Wiseman will be gone into the NBA in a year. Yeah. So the long term consequences are gonna be with Memphis even after he's gone. Yeah. So I think he'll be able to play. Um, he's got the best uh, attorney in Memphis on his side. And yeah. um, so I, you know, I think they're gonna take this to either uh, Shelby County Court, or which gives us a better chance of yeah, winning the I case. Just, I well, just if it goes fe if it goes federal to the federal courts, yeah. I think um, I think there's a less chance of us actually uh, coming out on top of this case. But I really hope for the best for the university well, and well. James Wiseman. I think, I mean, I just, I think I really want him to come back, and I think, I mean, he has a chance. Like you said, he has one of the best attorneys in Memphis on his side. But, I mean, if he doesn't, we, we're going to wish him well in the NBA, and we're going to hope Memphis has a really good season. Yep. And uh, it's been good talking sports with you, Jackson Travis. You too, Jordan. All right, have a great day. You too.